Bill your host, Bill Yesterday we were supposed to get a bunch of snow, and we ended up getting about not even five inches of snow. Standing snow, anyways. We got about four inches, not too much. But I did a quick time lapse of that, and I'll show it to you. I got this light sent to me for free to review about, I don't know, a year and a half, two years ago. And everybody said that it's a piece of junk, but it's been working great for me. You know, it comes on, goes off when it's supposed to. It's got its light sensor, it's been working for great. I don't leave it on all the time, I only, I only use it as a motion sensor. So last night I decided to leave it on so you can see that. And yeah, it quit working. That light is garbage. I leave it on for one night and it quits working. How is that even possible? But anyways, I canceled the school buses and everything else around here for the kids. Two days in a row now because of this big snowfall we're gonna get. And yeah, we got like four or five inches. What's really going on? <laughs> they forget that we're in Canada or what? Four or five inches is supposed to be normal. We're gonna take a ride into town today. I gotta take back the old thing for, for work and I, Got a couple extra sockets in there for them and those lights didn't work in the back of my truck. One of you just commented about getting one of them things with a ground wire on it. Great idea, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm not really worried about it too much. Everything works, so we're just gonna leave her. I don't care if it's a normal ball. Built a shelf yesterday up here to hang some more jars to move them because they're all hanging here as you know, but I like them over there better. And these things have got to go. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you guys use to sort your goodies because these things are such a pain in the ass. You gotta open every single one of them to find what you're looking for unless you label every single one of them. I don't like them. Let me know if you don't like them. They just cock my life right over, they do. But yeah, you know, that corner looks pretty good now. Leave a comment down there and let me know if you think it does too. Because I wanna know. And I found another tape measure in the meantime. Oh, I also got myself a new power bar here with USB chargers on it so I can charge my Brought to you by Snap-on lights. So now they're all charged at the same time. Even the freaking hot soldering gun. It's the only way to do it. I'm not a fan of those lights though. I don't know if any of you guys have a Snap-on light. I mean, it's just LED. I'm not a fan of the LED. Hey Google, turn on bench. I'm not a fan of the LED. Cause it, it almost shadows too much. You end up not being able to see dick all. Does anybody else have that problem? Leave me a comment down below. So we're gonna take a ride in town, like I said, do a little bit of run around, go have uh, lunch with mom. I haven't seen mom in a bit, so we gotta go see her. We are gonna put these emergency brake candles either in tonight or tomorrow. Leave me a comment and let me know if you wanna see that. As you know, this tailgate on this truck, it's it's got a lot of custom work done to it. As you see, it's all been filled in with a Toyota handle on it. It's got a Toyota Tacoma handle on there. So, you know, it's had a lot of work done to it. I oiled it yesterday. And when I fold it down, it's smooth on the inside too. So I was like, well, that's no good. If I have to get in the truck, I'm going to scratch it. End up vinyling it with some, uh, the old, what do you call it there? Carbon fiber wrap. So now I can crawl across it, not worrying about getting it all cocked over. Even though it's kind of, you know, not the smoothest thing, but it looks a lot better. My pinstripe's coming up there. My pinstripe's going to stick to good boys, girls, peoples. Then scratching it all up and we'll protect it. And man, oh man. Let me tell you, did I do a nice job on that, eh? If I could say so myself, just ask me, I'll tell you. Just like I'm a nice guy, I'll just ask me, I'll tell you. But yeah, the truck's dirty right now back there. You know, I've been back there, got the mat in there, and yeah. Here's a question for you. I can't get a tailgate assist for this truck. I really wish I could, because I'm so used to my truck, it lets the tailgate down slow. This one doesn't. If I drop this tailgate, it's probably gonna wreck it because it weighs so much. It's pure steel in this thing. So I gotta be real careful I don't let it go by accident as of habit. But there might be a way I can use a side here and make one. I don't know yet. We're not worried about it at this time. The thing I am worried about is this pinstripe ball coming off. What the hell is going on? Well, we're redoing that pinstripe. Let me tell you what. Vinyl's not coming off, just pinstripe. 
Oh well, we'll do that later. So, anyways, like I was saying, yeah, we can need the pinstripe on there, it looks a lot better. Like I was saying, what was I saying? Yeah, not this, not the other thing. So, leave a comment down below and let me know if you think I want to build an area where I can flip this open and I have like drawers and stuff for my drones and all the good stuff for doing whatever I want to do. Because this truck's never going to be out of my sight. It's in my garage or with me. It's not going to be like going to the mall rig or anything like that. It's going to be just a out for a cruise. Don't leave my sight rig. But I got all sorts of room in here for activities. Because I'm not going to use this as a truck. I can't use it as a truck. I got historic plates on it. You can't even have a hitch on this truck because it's got historic plates on it. I know, I know, it is, it's a street queen. Friggin' right it is. I'm not gonna deny it, it's not gonna be a pickup truck. It's a street queen. I got a pickup truck out in the driveway for it being a pickup truck. I wanna do something fancy back here. Maybe, you know, someday even carpet it and turn it into like some kind of fancy deal. Leave me a comment down below if you got any ideas for that because I am curious, careful. I am curious on what kind of ideas you can come up with. You can definitely tell the old tailgate yesterday is running down the bumper. I gotta adjust this bumper too. I notice it's in here about half an inch more than over there. So when I take that hitch off down there, we'll see if we can maybe slide her in higher. I'll do that on the hoist. Friggin' right it will. But I had this tailgate redone when I got the truck from the fella and it was crack. I had a little crack here because there is some filler in here because this is all metal. But there is some filler in there just to make her nice and smooth. And it's a shade off on the color. It's a red color. It's the color of the truck, but it's a shade darker. So I don't know if it's been an extra coat on there or different kind of primer, but she definitely has a little bit darker tinge to it, which I'm kind of bummed out about, but it is what it is, you know. I got the truck ratchet strap down right now, the suspension, to see where I want it to sit, because now the back's too high, like I was telling you last video, so I got her pulled down with some ratchet straps, and that's about where I wanted her to sit. So I talked to some peoples, and there's some peoples that can re-arch my leaves. So I'm either gonna re-arch the leaves, or I'm gonna buy some three inch Bell Tech drops leaves. I'm not sure what I want to do yet. I can't do a flip kit on this truck because the fellow that owned it before me already moved the shackles way up on the frame. They're not hanging down and he's got the extra arms on there. So the only thing I could do is move them back down and then do a flip. That would be more work than just to re-arch the uh, leaves. So I definitely got to do that because the truck's sitting too high now at the back. See, it's a fighting game. It's too high at the front before, now it's too low at the back, or now it's too high at the back. Oh God, back and forth like a yo-yo. Can I try around with the ratchet straps in there? I doubt it. She's pretty stiff with ratchet straps in there. Oh. Should be bouncing down the road, man. But I was able to level the truck too. The truck sat a little higher on the driver's side. No, sat a little higher on the passenger side. No, yeah, sat a little higher on the passenger side, but I was able to adjust that with some ratchet straps. So I know what's in the coil, uh, the, the leaves. Either got a broken leaf on one side or something. So they gotta be taken apart anyways, either way. If that's the case, why am I doing the emergency brake cables? If I have to drop the leaves out, that means I gotta undo the rear end. So why not just do it all at the same time? Damn it. What am I gonna do, Frank? I don't know. You'll tell me in the comments below you will. Got the old John Deere up this morning, the old 79er. And she got the driveway done pretty good. She still works. Can you believe it? Look at the size of them pigeons. Holy, they're eating good. Ah, oh, got a blue jay out there and some fat old pigeons. Captain Garbage Man still has to come. Where are you, bud? I'm just killing time here waiting for the daughter to get ready in there. She's gonna go for the ride with me this morning because like I said, it's a snow day for some god knows reason. I don't know why, but it is. Man, that looks good over there. I like that. That turned out really good, that shelf up there. All I need is more jars. If anybody has any jars, send them my way, would you? Hey, if anybody's watching this too about that light out there, if you want me to review one, send me one too, why wouldn't you? Hey? You gotta ask for free stuff in this world. You do, it helps. I already got one in my cart. So I'm gonna probably order one before I even get one set anyways. Cause I need a light back there when we let the poochie out. But this is just a short little update video. I like doing these once in a while. Leave me any comments down below. Let me know if there's anything you'd like me to change. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if there's anything you'd like me to do. We're almost done with this truck, which is good. That means it's almost there. Still wait for the window and little things here and there, but that's about it. Hopefully everyone's having a good day like me. Glad you're all here. Welcome any new subscribers to the channel. Stick around and let's see if we can get over 100 likes on this video. I appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe. Love you all. And until next time. You know what to do for now.